Hello everyone, Darkside Phil here. It is February 24th, 2015, and welcome to another Loot Crate unboxing, and I've got some exciting news for you guys who've been following along with this video series over the past six months, okay? So bear with me before we get to the unboxing. I've got some fun news. I've been unboxing Loot Crate every month, and last month, after this six-month trial was about to expire, I asked the viewers, would you guys like to see me continue with Loot Crate? Now, keep in mind, I bought the six-month membership, you know, way back in late 2014, and it was out of my own pocket. It wasn't like I was given it as a special promotion. I wanted to try it as a new video series for you guys. Overwhelmingly, I got a positive response saying, yes, keep doing it. Even if you don't use the stuff, we like seeing you unbox it and giving your unique references and, and stuff to the things that are in Loot Crate. Or, if you're not like, liking Loot Crate, try a different service because there's other ones. Now, people suggested all these different other services, all right? And I'll be honest. I said, you know what? I did Loot Crate for six months. I think what I'm going to do is maybe switch over to a different service and try them out and see how they are. And I looked all around the Internet, and I found one that I really seemed to like based off of what you get and user reviews and cost, okay? And it was called NerdBlock. It's a very similar company to Loot Crate. They're based out of Canada. And... They actually cater to what you want. You can either do a generalized box, or you can do what's called arcade block, which is more for gamers, or you can do horror block, which is more for horror-related fans. So after considering this, I said, I think I'm going to try a six-month membership of the arcade block. Let's do gaming-related stuff and see how it turns out for six months, right? So I go through the whole process. I, I, I sign up. I create an account. I register for the six months of arcade block. I get to the end to check out. And it says, this will cost you roughly around 100 bucks. It's the same cost as Loot Crate for a six-month membership. I'm like, okay. Oh, and it's going to be 55 additional dollars for shipping. More than half the cost of the subscription to ship this to my house every month. And I said, are they out of their minds? There's no way I would pay more than half the value of what I'm buying to have it shipped to my house. That's out of control. It's not like this is some giant thing that needs to be shipped, you know, via special. It's just going to be a box every month. I even tweeted about it, and NerdBlock responded, Oh, well, uh, it's a roughly a shoebox-sized box that we airmail to you every month. This is the cheapest we could do. To which I responded, well, maybe you shouldn't do airmail. Maybe you should do ground transportation if it really costs that much, because that's insane, and there's no way I would do it. So I decided against it. And I'll be honest, I wasn't sure if I was going to continue on with Loot Crate or not. But then since everyone overwhelmingly said, please continue, I was going to renew my membership. Now, here's the exciting news. Loot Crate themselves apparently got wind that I was doing a monthly unboxing. They contacted me personally and they said, Phil, we love the unboxings that you're doing on a monthly basis. We'd like to sign you up for our partnership program. Now, I didn't know anything about this. I didn't even know this existed. I said, okay, how does it work? They said, well, we're going to sign you up, so you're going to get a Loot Crate every month. Don't worry about you know, renewing your membership or whatever. You're just going to get it from now on every month. You do a Loot Crate unboxing video, right, for your viewers. They enjoy it. And we got a way for us to help you a little bit and for your viewers to also get something cool out of it. I said, all right, what's that? They said, we're going to give you your own vanity URL, that if people go to Loot Crate at this URL and they purchase a subscription themselves after watching your video, they're going to save money. And I said, so how is there any kind of a negative to this? I'm going to get Loot Crates every month to unbox for everyone. If people watch my video and like it and want to subscribe themselves, they save money. Duh. It's like a no-brainer. So I'm going to say it right now, everyone. LootCrate.com forward slash DarksideFill with a Y, by the way. Dark side with a Y. Um, go there, and if you register, use the discount code Save Me Ten DSP. S A V E M E one zero DSP. If you use that code, you will save ten percent on the cost of your subscription. So it's a way for me to continue to bring you an entertaining series that you guys have liked for six months, and it's a way for you to save some money. I had, didn't intend this seriously. I didn't intend this. I had no, you know, no kind of involvement with getting this. They contacted me, and it was completely out of left field, and I'm pleased because I have enjoyed the loot crates for the most part. Not everyone is amazing, but they're, they're entertaining for the most part to see what's in them, right? And I've enjoyed it, and I hope that you've enjoyed it too. So thank you for those of you who've watched the videos, who've supported. Now it's going to happen monthly, and, uh, and if you ever want to register... 
because you like what you're seeing in the loot crates, please, again, use the, that vanity URL, dark side fill, and then use save me 10 DSP as your discount code, and you're going to save 10%, okay? So that's enough of that. I just wanted to give you the backstory of what was going on. I completely unexpected. Now, some people have said, well, we'll fill try, try another service. I may, but I'm telling you right now, it's not going to be nerd block. I'm not paying that much for shipping. That's absolutely out of control. And regardless of what's in the box, it's not worth it. That's more than half the value to buy something to ship it. It's not worth it. They screwed up there, and they need to make some kind of a better partnership in America, the United States, to ship things for a more economical cost because that's just out of control. Okay, so anyway, I digress. It's time to talk about February's Loot Crate. I have no idea what this is. You know, for me, a mystery. Every month I unbox this and I have no clue what the heck it is. Um, here we go. So, Loot Crate looks pretty general, right? doesn't really have anything, any kind of indication of what it's going to be. It looks like it actually opens from here. Nope. <laughs> that was wrong. That was a big fail. I'm used to the, to the crate opening a different way for the past few months. Here we go. What is this? Crate Packing Simulator 2015. Look. Uh, I guess it's kind of a board game on the inside of the box. I guess we're going to find out once we, uh, ooh, once we actually start looking at what's in this loot crate. First of all, we've got this. Look at this. Money World. Design, admire, and inspire. Create your own vinyl art toy. Includes three wipe-off markers, mini money. And what they're showing you here, see that? Is that you can draw whatever you want on this little toy. Share your art with friends. Hashtag money. You can draw on money. You can paint on money. You can use pens, pencils, and crayons on money. Make things to put in money's hands. Make hats to put on money's head. Or you can just leave money alone and keep money next to you for company. So kidrobot.com forward slash money world. Now kidrobot has been making these figurines uh, of all of these different pop culture icons. In fact, every time I go to the store now, I see them everywhere. I mean, I'm talking seriously, like every single thing of pop culture you could think of. Game of Thrones, The Walking Dead, video games, comic books, everything has been made into these little figures. Apparently, they're incredibly popular and the company has taken off. This is a Loot Crate exclusive where you make your own. Okay, I don't know what Money World is, never heard of it, I don't know if it's something new or whatever, but I guess it's just a blank figure that you can draw on. Alright, well, there are some people who might be interested in drawing and creating their own figure, you get that. What's this thing? What the hell? Hexbug? The Hexbug? Uh, Micro Robotic Creatures? What the hell? Look at this thing. Ages 8 plus. Hex bug. And it shows you what you put in two. It's like watch batteries. You put inside of this thing to make it well. Batteries are included. Custom manufactured in China. Uh, how are you supposed to open this thing? Without destroying it. Oh, it's taped. Stupid thing. Look at this thing. Wow. I just want to see if it works. <laughs> I just want to see if the hex bug actually works and how what does it look like? Let's find out. Okay. Uh here it is, the hex bug, right? Get that to focus. You get it to walk? How the hell does it turn on? There's a switch. Oh my god. <laughs> it's going bonkers. Whoa! Oh shit! Oh, you see what happens? When it hits a surface, it automatically turns around and goes a random direction. Holy shit! It's going nuts! Whoa! <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna move it back. I'm gonna put it here on the countertop. Ready? Oh! <laughs> That's pretty wild. I'm going to turn it off before it freaking breaks something. It's out of control. It just goes everywhere. It's fast, too. That's interesting. I wonder if, you know, I'm sure that retails somewhere, you know, you could buy it in a store. It's interesting. What do we got here? Some kind of a poster or something. Oh, weird. This is a weird loot crate this month. 
I'm pretty sure that Money World and Loot Crate have nothing, or uh, Money World and Hexbug have nothing to do with each other. Let's see what this is. Huh? I think this is supposed to be a blueprint of an old Atari Atari cartridge. Game program Pac-Man used with joystick controllers. Mad design. I don't have a clue what this is. <laughs> Hopefully it explains in the magazine. It looks like a blueprint. What's this? This feels like some dice. Hmm. The heck could this be? What the? A hand? Peace symbol? A stop? Like, talk to the hand? A fist? Alright? And same thing here. Wonder if this might have anything to do with the game that's on the box. I guess we'll find out, right? What else do we got here? Super Fight, the Loot Crate deck from Skybound Games. This is a 100 card version of the virtual, no, viral card game Super Fight, designed exclusively for Loot Crate by Skybound. These cards are only available in this exclusive deck. Create hilarious fighters with these cards and argue over who would win in a fight between them. Now I want to see what's in this deck. <laughs> what kind of characters did they put in here? Of course, I can't get the plastic open. Ugh. I need a knife. This is what I like to call another Superman product. You want to know why I call this a Superman product? Because you got to be as strong as fucking Superman to get it open. It's like... It's like when you go to the store, you buy one of those bottles that's like so ridiculously childproof that you can't get the fucking thing open yourself even though you're a full adult and you're like, uh... Alright, so I've destroyed the box trying to get this open. Kind of expected that would happen. Here, let's take a look at this 100 card deck. Super Fight. What the hell? Kaiju, the common cold, Loch Ness Monster, Stegosaurus Mothra? What the? Keanu Reeves? The Iron Giant, two Tribbles. Can only be killed by a stake through the heart. Commands an army of disposable minions. Riding a nuclear missile. And then on a roller coaster, desert island, I guess these are locations. All fighters are armed with chainsaws. Fighters are riding giant blanks. Draw a random character card. So it sounds to me is that it's a random card game where you select random characters, a random location, random weapons, and then you hypothetically argue about who would win in the fight. <laughs> it's kind of funny. At the same time, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Is it lame that they have no effing pictures on anything? It's pretty obvious why, because if you tried to say, oh, King Arthur, or Star-Lord, or, you know, Kaiju, if you try, Gal Gal Mothra, these are all cop a lot of these are copyrighted characters, and they probably, if they put a picture of it on the card, they get sued. So all they do is put the name, and now they're able to sell a card game with literally no art and just words. <laughs> it's an interesting thing. If you had a group of friends one night, you're getting together, you're going to have a few drinks, have a few snacks, uh, you know, you want to do something different. I used to uh, late night play games of Risk with my friends. You can play Super Fight, the Loot Crate deck, I guess. Okay. What else do we got in here? We've got Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. Enchanting, Willy Wonka meets the Matrix. It's another book. In the year 2044, reality is an ugly place. The only time teenage Wade Watts really feels alive is when his book falls, when I'm trying to read the back of it. It's when he's jammed into the virtual utopia known as the Oasis. This is a combination, you know, Willy Wonka and the Matrix. So, it's a book. It's a, it's a fictional book about gaming and the futuristic kind of a world where you jack into virtual cyberspace. Okay. Cool. Here's the crate packing simulator game instructions. And yes, we were correct. Those die, or dice, whatever you want to call them, are for that game. So that's what this, this box is for. It's a board game. The Callahan Full Bore Auto Lock Assault Rifle Firefly Online. What? Uh... The Overland awaits you, Captain. Apparently, there's a game. Keepflying.com forward slash Cortex. Download the Cortex, the official companion app for Firefly Online. Register an account. Click on the redeem button and use the code Overlord to get that gun. So, apparently, if you play this game Firefly Online, you can get a companion app and put this code in Overlord and you'll get this, I'm sorry, Overland and you'll get this Overland rifle. All right? Here's their monthly magazine. We'll do that in a second, but here's the button. 
And the button is Loot Crate February 2015 Play. So I guess the theme for this month is play. It's not focusing, is it? It really doesn't feel like focusing on this button at all. Hmm, hold on. There we go. <laughs> Much better. So as you can see, there's like little little game pieces from, from like Monopoly combined with the stuff from their own board game. So I guess the theme this month is play. You know, don't just buy the figurine, play with it. You know, design it yourself, draw on it. Don't just get this thing, run it all around your, your countertop and go nuts with this toy, you know. Uh, you know, play this board game that it came with. Play the card game that it came with. So it's all game game related stuff and it's not necessarily video games, it's more kind of you know, hands-on stuff, which is kind of interesting. All right, so here it is, play. Co-op gaming. The history of game controllers. So it's in-person cooperative gaming. Boy, and boy is that falling out of, of popular uh, popularity when it comes to video games these days. In-person co-op gaming. So here's some uh, pictures from previous Loot Crates. Let's play together. Yep, co-op games are good for you. I agree. I'm actually sad that co-op gaming is going away. This one's Mega Crate had a fucking drone. <laughs> a drone. A, no, they call it a gyrocopter. I call it a drone. An Oculus Rift. Wow, good for you. You can play nothing on that. The Oculus Rift development kit. <laughs> a 3D printer. Holy shit. A real 3D printer worth $1,000. Minecraft Legos. Wow. A, a, the history of game controllers. Look at that. Showing you the modern controllers and going back in time to the very beginning. Yep. Yep. Let's see. Out of these controllers, which ones have I played on? Let's just go from the beginning. I played on that. I did not play on that. I did not play on Vectrex. I played on NES, SNES, Sega, Genesis, and Mega Drive. Didn't have an Atari Jaguar. Didn't do that. I did that one. I did this Sega Saturn. Yep, I had that. I did not have the giant Sega Saturn pad. Uh, Nintendo 64, yes. The DualShock, yes. Uh, Genecast, yes. DualShock 2, yes. GameCube, yes. Xbox, yes. Wavebird, no. Well... No, I had the original GameCube. I didn't have the Wavebird that had the vibration. I didn't have that one. Yep. The Xbox 360, Wemo, and all these on the top, obviously, yes. Except for Steam. They have Steam Controller, question mark, because it's not out. And uh, no one... I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> uh, so here's Money, which they were showing you. How you. They said there's a contest. Design contest. Design the best one, and you'll win something from Loot Crate. And they get some examples here. Mr. T, uh, Calvin from Calvin and Hobbes. Here's the book, Ready Player One Novel from Random House. Uh, Super Fight, the deck, and then their, their game, the board game that they got. Oh, it's a rock, paper, scissors dice game. And they're saying you can use the dice to play their create, pack, create packing simulator board game that's in here. Uh, Hexbug glows in the, and there's glow in the dark versions of Hexbug too, apparently. But here's the different Hexbugs that are available. We got the Ant. That's the one we got. Okay. And... The Waka Waka poster, yeah, that's what that is. The Waka Waka poster, it's supposed to be showing you, you know, a uh, how an Atari cartridge was made back in the day. And then that code that I showed you for Firefly Online. Um, and then this are the game pieces for the Crate Packing Simulator board game. I guess you're supposed to pop them out and build them, and then you can play the game. So this is an interesting one. The reason I say that is a lot different from the other ones that I've gotten. It has a very defined theme cooperative in-person gaming, which, as I said, is pretty much in the realm of video games starting to go away. When you really think about video games that have the couch co-op, uh, the only games that really come to mind for me, when you think about it, are Nintendo, right? Mario, uh, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, Mario Kart. These are the games that you could play in person, co-op. Most games have been doing away with the couch co-op. And that's a shame. It really is a shame that they are because it's a fun experience. I grew up, a lot of people know this, a lot of people probably don't. I grew up in the era of competitive Street Fighter when it was in arcades, all right? You had to go physically to the arcade to meet someone in person and play them in Street Fighter. There was no online gameplay back then. So it was like a whole different social experiment, meeting all these people from all different walks of life who all enjoyed Street Fighter and playing. Same thing with couch co-op, having your friends or your family or everyone getting together to do this cooperative experience together rather than the anonymity 
of random matchmaking and doing stuff online, right? So that's what this month's box was about. I enjoyed that one. Uh, I hope you did too. That was kind of interesting. And as I said, since I'm now part of the partnership program of Loot Crate, I will be continuing to do these monthly unboxings uh, for the foreseeable future, okay? Again, one more time, if you enjoyed this video, you liked what you saw on the Loot Crate, and you're interested in subscribing yourself, please use my specific link. It's called lootcrate.com forward slash dark side fill. I'll obviously put a link to that in the description of the video. And, uh, and use the code SAVEME10DSP, S-A-V-E-M-E-1-0-D-S-P, -E -E DSP, and it's a way for you to save a little bit of money, and from what I'm to understand, I get a cut, like a little cut, I don't even know how much because I wasn't really paying attention, but it's a way for you to kind of give back to me and say, wow, I like Phil, Phil doing these unboxings, I want to get these myself, and I get a little bit out of it too, which is pretty neat, so... That is it for this month's unboxing. I'll see you next month for March's uh, Loot Crate unboxing. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you then.